Hi. Uh. Bye. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Kill them. Good morning everyone and welcome to another one command block creation by IJA Minecraft. This one will be the difficulty hell mode, just in case you know you've beaten all of the bosses and you want a little bit something a bit harder for you. So let's just get out of F1. So right now I have these three things. It just ignore these two and put this just look at this one. I have these two here just because it makes it because I was testing out if you could do more than one at once. Turned out you can. So I could blow them all up with the powerful weapons command. And it's turning night time. That's good. Hang on. It's time. Said zero. Yeah. So what the difficulty hell mod it, mod command block creation is. It's basically it makes your world a bit harder while it's active. As you can see I was kind of testing it out before. Um, yeah. So we're just going to grab ourselves the items, and as you can see here we've got 30 blocks of iron, 10 redstone, 10 gold ingots, and 10 diamonds. You only need one block of iron, and then, oh hey, look, it's a cannon. But we're not going to be using that today. I'm just going to be heading all the way over here, where I tested it out a little bit before. And that's why there's a big hole in the ground, you see? Holes! Everywhere! So we're going to go all the way out here, and we're going to place this iron block down, and we're going to put down some redstone, that'll poof out and give you the destroyer, put down another block of iron, put in a gold, put on a gold ingot, and you'll get the stabilizer, and then you need another one, throw on a diamond, and then you'll get the final item, which is the restorer. You're going to want bo both of these at some point the stabilizer and the restorer if you want to hang on well so i'll get to these two restorer is basically it ends it and stabilizer it helps in the process so we have the destroyer which if you place it down it does this fancy particle effect and starts shooting into the air and as you can see there's particle effects everywhere it's spoopy so i'm just oh spoopy Okay, that means it is pretty much finished. So I'm going to grab myself a set of diamond armor. Just to show how strong these things are that I'm about to show you. So let's just put all of these here. We don't really need the destroyer anymore. I'm going to grab ourselves a creeper. A skeleton. A zombie. And a spider. So first thing first. If we spawn in these two things, the zombie and the skeleton, you'll notice that they don't burn. Ever. So you're going to have these guys everywhere, all the time. So have fun with that. I'm going to he head to game mode zero. And let's see what this guy does. He's ex This guy is extremely slow. Oh wait, slash heal. No, I can't heal. Hang on, slash game mode one. Prep, good thing. Uh, tools. I'll need um, these golden apples. I'll definitely need the big ones. Game mode zero, and we're gonna read. The Whoa, where are you going? Uh, hi. Um. Oh right. So apparently, if he's a bit of a distance away, he won't go this slow. But if he's up close, this he, this is with the notch apple. No, he he do, he took out one of my hearts. He does deal quite quite a bit of damage, and. It takes a lot of hits. Yeah. Go down the hole. Oh, yeah. See ya. Hey, fell from fall damage. Okay, here is the skeleton. He's going to be shooting arrows at you, which hurt. And if they miss, they split into four hours. So even when they miss, you're going to have a bit of an issue. Let's just kill this guy. And you can see he spawns with iron armor. So he doesn't burn in sunlight either. That's fun. Eh, stop. Ow. Ow. No. Mm, no. Oh. Nope. Come on. This guy's. 
Unless I think if you, unless you have a bow and arrow, these guys are going to be a bit of an issue. I'm just my main goal is to push him off the cliff at the moment because I don't think I'm going. Oh, there he is. He died. I don't think the slimes have anything new to them because they're so cute and adorable. I don't think they could do. Uh, gotta eat another golden apple because I'm running out of food. Um, the next thing we have is the spider. These guys shoot out cobwebs. They're still fine in the daylight, but if you aggro them, they're a lot faster. Ah, you see? Jesus. Jordan's worst nightmare right here. And I'm trapped. Oh, God. Stop going so fast. Oh, my God. No. You'll never catch me. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Come at me. Yeah. Oh wait, you're still alive, done that? Hi. Uh. Bye. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Kill them. Be right back. Now we are good. Okay. Now we're recording. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna place this creeper down, and we'll see how these creepers actually work. I'm probably going to have to run pretty quick. Run. Run. Okay, they're a lot faster than normal, as we can see. It's actually kind of keeping up with me. But if I get too close... Oh, no. There. You can't walk away from it anymore. Three, two, one. Boom! Yeah. They have a lot... They have a much bigger blast radius. So, now that that's the destructive one out of the way... Oh, right on time. We have, if you leave this thing on for more than five minutes, it will eventually become hell on earth, which is not a fun time because these guys arrive and they're spooky and they leave leatherack everywhere and they hurt a lot. Actually, they're not as bad as the other mobs, but they are, they become a lot of them. So if I just get myself another gold dinger and another diamond and another to get the gold diamond block. Hi. They have incredibly loud as well. You know. Loudness is their middle name. You see, he's leaving a trail of... It's interesting because if you hit them... Hold on. If you hit them with a knockback sword, I believe. Um, or just any kind of... Jesus Christ, you're so loud. Yeah, here. If you hit them with a knockback sword, they actually float. Um, boogie, boogie, boogie. So I'm going to shove this block of diamond down, grab myself golding it. And this is where you're going to want the stabilizer for. So if you right-click with the stabilizer. No. No. Skype. Stop. No. Skype. S please. Not Skype. Uh, busy. Yeah, gonna right click, and, ready, poof, they go off. So now, as you can see, the particle effects have become a little less vigorous, and I believe after a tiny bit of time, they should start falling down back into the earth. So, that's a nice thing. Well, this lasts for another five minutes until you've got to do another one. Oh, he's disappeared. I want to see this guy. Hello? I need to see both of them at the same time, otherwise I'm going to miss one of them. No! Stop making my job hard! Okay. While they're there, I'm going to send in this way. There he is! Bye! And are you going to go? Hello, Sin. Oh yeah, these guys are also called Sins, if you're wondering. It's why it's hell on earth, so... It, 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 it. I didn't mean for that to happen, but that's what happens if... Yeah. <sighs> okay. So now we have the Restorer, which should be the final thing you use. It'll get rid of all of the particle effects, and your world will ba be back to its normal self. And that is the difficulty hell... Yeah, that means it's finished. 
That's the difficulty hell command block creation. As you can see, it's here. If you're wondering how you actually make one of these, well, get it. You go down in the description, I'll have a link to the command, and then you copy the command from wherever. You get yourself a command block, you paste it into the command block, and then you activate the command block. And it should create this big little thing. And these are the newer ones, so they have like a activate and deactivate button, just in case, and they have explanations, destroy, get items, all that stuff. So, hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to be chilling with this floating squid. I was floating once upon a time. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a good day, and see you all next time.